What's crack lacking? It's your boy, Broshmo. Just in case you didn't know so. And I want y'all to know I'm doing this video with so much animosity, so much malice, so much hate. Because we're talking about the Patriots today. The cheaters. They flatten balls and spy on gates. <sighs> Sick of them. I'm not even going to make a Robert Kraft joke. Yet. Yeah. But let's go ahead. Let's talk. Let's give them a season preview. Let's talk about the Patriots. Haters gonna hate, I know. I'm wearing this today. They may not be good, but they're good to me, man. You got Tom Brady. You got the best quarterback of all time. Good for you. You also have the best coach of all time. la -dee da Another year. It's been this way since, what, 2003? It's like I'm living in my own personal hell. But you got Tom Brady. Who? He's still Tom Brady. He's not uh, He's not the Tom Brady of like two or three years ago, but that's not, not like he's diminished much. The man's still winning Super Bowls, still winning games. You also have Sony Michelle in the backfield. The backfield looks really good. You also drafted uh, Damian Harris, who quality. I think Rex Burf, uh, Burkhead, probably out of here. Probably won't be a part of the roster. Instead of listing a slot receiver, I gave it to James White. Let's be honest. James White basically is a slot receiver. Uh, he does so much in the passing game. He's going to see more snaps than probably anyone that's not named Julian Edelman. So, just saying. Uh, as far as wide receiver, Julian, like, Julian Edelman, he could kick inside or out. He can play the slot. Uh, that's the neat thing about the Patriots. They, they kind of line their receivers up. Wherever they want. So, you got that. Philip Dursett's your big vertical threat. Uh, Nikhil Harry, probably, will, he's going to be like Edelman. They'll play him a little bit on the outside. They'll probably play him more so in the slot. Um, offensive line studded. Don't know what we're getting yet with Isaiah Wynn. But, he first round pedigree. So, we'll see. He's, he's going to be replacing uh, Trent Brown. Um... Then at, you don't have Gronk no more, but I don't think that really mattered because more times than not, you didn't have Gronk anyway because he was all banged up. So I got Ben Watson here. Granted, he's suspended for the first, uh, first four games of the year, but I don't think that'll matter much. You already released uh, Austin, uh, shoot, what was it, Safarin Jenkins? I don't know, man. The fantasy, fantasy football world was so high. And the minute Gronk left and they signed Safarin Jenkins, or they were like, oh man, yeah, he's going to replicate Gronk's numbers. I was like, no. When has any tight end come in to New England and replicated what Gronk did? Not since Aaron Hernandez. Oh, we're not supposed to talk about Aaron. I mean, what? Uh, Mark uh, Martellus Bennett didn't do it. Um, Dwayne Allen didn't do it. Honestly, even Ben Watson, he's he's shined a little bit back when he was originally with his first stint with the team. But let's be honest, no no one's gonna be able to replace Gronk completely. But he might come out of retirement, <laughs> so who knows? But let's be honest, this team's gonna do very well. This offense is gonna do very well, and I hate them for it. Let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the defensive sign uh, side and. Whoo, man that defense even without Trey Flowers looking good Michael Bennett there probably gonna be playing a little more uh, inside on the line uh, then again Trey Flowers kind of jumped around uh, wherever he was needed he was a fun little chess piece a uh, Lawrence guy gonna come in there uh, now to try uh, uh, or wise jr. I think eventually might get replaced um, maybe I really like Chase Winovich. I don't know how he fell to the third round. I don't know how y'all got him. He was one of my favorite rush edge rushers in the draft. And y'all picked him up. I I don't get I don't get I don't get how y'all get talent like that. It it frustrates me. You know who needed a pass rusher this year? The Dolphins. Didn't get one. Uh Kyle Van Noy. He's he's playing well. Uh Dante Hightower's kinda eh, he's kinda whatever right now. Um, 
Jawan Bentley, who honestly, this was a tough one. I didn't know who to put here because uh, Eldon Roberts also played a very significant role last year, uh, or the last couple of years. So, uh, honestly, I, I ended up going with uh, Bentley here because he's got a little more upside. Uh, secondary, Stefan Gilmore proved he was one of the best uh, press corners in the league last year. He was a monster. Jason McCourty, I got him playing outside. He could also play in the slot. Um, and that goes vice versa for Joe John Williams, another guy they uh, snagged out of Vanderbilt, who I thought was very underrated. Uh, Devin McCourty, uh, Patrick Chung. It's like rinse and repeat. You know what you're getting with these guys. They're, they've literally been Patriots for almost their whole career, or at least Devin McCourty has. Um, this team is just... While their Super Bowl window, I, I say their Super Bowl window is closing. They got what, like 10 Super Bowls now? Like, it's got, that window's got to close eventually. I, it does. Will it this year? Let's take a look at their schedule. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, honestly, at first, it starts out strong. Because the Patriots and Steelers, they always put on a good show. So I can't wait. That's going to be a fun game to watch. After that, they got three straight division rivalry games. Then they face the Redskins and the Giants, which is basically that's the that's the floor of the NFL right now. So not not a difficult start for the Patriots. Even after that, they have the Jets. Uh, but then they have this stretch where they face the Browns, the Ravens. They get a bye, and they're going to need it. Because then they're facing the Eagles, the Cowboys, the Texans, and the Chiefs. Luckily, they get a breather at the end of the year and they finish it with the Bengals, Bills, and Dolphins. But that's going to be a tough stretch. But it's Tom Brady, it's Bill Belichick. You think I'm, I'm not going to doubt these guys? As much as I, as much as I dislike the Patriots, I can respect them. I can respect what Tom Brady's done. Everyone's like, oh, the flank gate, spine gate. I mean, honestly, look, just they, they've created a dynasty. And it's been tough to watch from my point of view, but I can respect that. Uh, I got them going 12 and 4. No one could tell me otherwise. This is Patriots team has been good for too long. I think they only have, since the Brady Belichick marriage has been formed, only one losing season. And even in a season when Brady. Was hurt and couldn't play they won with Matt Castle I'm not gonna doubt the Patriots and it makes me sad um anyway that's it for the video if you enjoyed the content please like subscribe it really helps me out and uh yeah till next time a much funner time from now because we won't be talking about the Patriots Y'all be easy, my friends. Later.